stripper header is the most economical, the least amount of maintenance, the um, easiest thing to run on our farm. It was exciting, but then at the same time, it was nail biting because nobody else was doing it. They were preaching distros up there, you know, and so the hell. My wife and I decided that that's the route we wanted to go. And uh, so we just bought our first disc drill and everybody came and looked at it because it was something odd. Everybody said, well, you're going to have a lot of bearing problems, you know, because there's so many bearings, but we really don't. The distro we found, um, it's pretty low maintenance as far as I'm concerned. It's got, I put on, this last time I put on almost 16,000 acres on one set of discs and then I had to change them out, which is unheard of. The stripper header is also very maintenance free. I mean, I just, I change the teeth on it about every five years and keep going. We bought a brand new combine in 2011, put it behind a brand new stripper header, and we ran it. We kept thinking, well, it's, you have to replace these different things, replace these different things, augers, flighting, all this stuff, and chains, um, and that was never the case, because we were never bringing in all the straw and raw materials all the time. When you're cutting 50 bushel wheat, you're bringing in all that straw in. One of this, you're just bringing in heads of chaff. So nothing ever really wore out on it very little, just, you know, the, the belts or stuff need to change, this and that, but I never really had any major issues with that machine. With the stripper, you're not running near as much potential dirt through your combine and, or just near as much residue in general, so there's a lot less wear and tear on the combine if you can get away with using the stripper header on it. Maintenance on the combine is, to me, it's worth it. You're not putting hours on your grain cart tractor. You're not putting hours on your help. You know, you're, it's trickle down. It's a lot of things you wouldn't think about. The same parts of the combine are still gonna wear out, internal parts, but you know, you're probably gaining two, three, four extra years, yeah. you know, on, on each component. In the distro, we were always told we just couldn't do it with all the rocks we had, you know, which was, so, that was, you hear that all the time, but now we found out it, certainly wears out faster with rocks, but it's way better because it doesn't pop the rocks out of the ground and stuff, right? Oh, so, beautiful dirt. <laughs> yeah, so we, I don't think we would ever go back. I got no, the maintenance in the fall is a bit of a pain, isn't it? But it, it is, yeah, but it's one, it keeps the stubble up and it just glides over the ground. It doesn't, you know, the hoe drill just chatters back there, you know, and hoses are popping everywhere and shanks are breaking off, you know, and it's very stressful to, but it, it's amazing watching the this drill. It's, just, it's so easy to see with it. It's incredible how much, you know, you save on maintenance uh, running a stripper header with a combine. And the biggest advantage is, is it, I mean, you're, is the water holding, I mean, because the snow too. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, this stuff will fill up a level of snow, but it isn't compacted, so it actually melts faster in the spring. It felt like the water holding capacity was better in it. We didn't notice any more like when it rained. It actually did rain for a while, a few back when we first started farming. And you would actually look out there and you would never see standing water in the field ever anymore in that particular field. And I don't know. It, it, yeah, and you could just tell because the soil was more alive. You'd have rough mass in there when you dug stuff up all the time. Like some of our ground that's really clay, you know, when it dries out, it's like you can't really get a spade in the ground. And so we noticed that. Yeah, that which too. is a slow improvement. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like you fix it in a year, but it no. kept getting better and better, not worse. The switch from disc drills and shell bores, you know, the switch to that, it's all about water use efficiency. We can see anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 bushel difference um, in a pretty close proximity. I think the stripper straw catching moisture and also leaving the straw on the surface longer is, is definitely helping the yields. Um, not only that, but it shades the ground in the winter and the summertime when it's so hot. So shading the ground, you know, the temperature's a lot cooler.
I think the big thing is ground temperature. Yeah, that's you know, Brooks, Brook has come out and checked ground temperature at harvest two years ago. And uh, our ground temperature at harvest was 80 degrees. And uh, she checked the neighbors at farms with hole drills, and it was 121 degrees. Other people said, well, you're going to have problems with disease. They're all that straw on top of the ground. You're going to have disease problems. I've never had disease problems. The biggest advantage of the stripper head and the destrial combo to me is um, water retention in the soil. And number two would be efficiencies of your machinery. The, our yields have been going up ever you know, since we've had the dish drill in, since 2010. And since then, that's when our yields have started going up. I mean, we probably went from 35 to 45 with the dish drill. And then we've just found that we're getting too much residue to get through there with the dish drill. And that's why we went to the stripper header. When you get those windy days, with the, all that residue on the ground, we're, we're just saving more water. And that's, and that's why our yields are going up. I guess the number one thing why I do it is the efficiency. Because the time, time is money, you know, and so if I can get it done quicker, I get to go on vacation. I get to go to my kids' games. Everything I do out here is time efficient. I think about it being more time efficient. The stripper header versus the draper header. That to me is maybe not a huge monetary like parts. Um, it's not so much that we're spending way, way, way less in parts, but it's downtime. The amount of time that I stop the combine and am out working on the header with the draper header, it's I'm sure it has to be at least an hour or two a day, where with a stripper, I'm never stopping. I get in it and I, I never stop. I, I dump on the go and I just never ever stop until night. The reason I bought a stripper last year, I like, oh, that's a lot of money, that's a lot of money, but I didn't want to cut my grain literally that short. So that's the real, a drought year is the reason why I went to a stripper head, is like what pushed me over the edge. Yeah, that's why we got into them originally, is to get the most bushels per inch of moisture. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people don't think about that and don't realize how important that is. But making your ground efficient is... Well, like I said, I mean, we are committed to the disc drill and to make the disc drill work, you have to have the stripper stuff in. I'd tell people to be open-minded about it. A lot of people ask if we'd ever go back to, to hoe drills and draper headers, and we said never. It's a no-brainer to farm out here and not use a stripper header. It is, it, it's a no-brainer. Because we live in a land that's dry, the wind blows all the time, blows the farm away when the, when the soil's bare. And, I mean, you want to preserve this soil so the next generation can use it. If you're thinking about doing it, just do it.